they start to show up in September. By January, about 30,000 sandhill cranes have migrated to southeastern Arizona. They visit each winter from as far north as Siberia, and they always put on a show. Sandhill cranes put the wow in wings over Wilcox. It's a birding and nature festival that took flight in 1994 as a joint venture between the City of Wilcox Chamber of Commerce and the Arizona Game and Fish Department. In 1994, we started with a day and a half, and it's grown now to five days, so it is a lot more people coming to Wilcox. The festival originated as a way to showcase the cranes, but it's evolved into a celebration of all natural wonders in and around the city of Wilcox. It's a cow town, a ranching and farming community with a strong connection to singing cowboy Rex Allen, who was born on a ranch just outside the city. A monument to the man stands proudly in the city's railroad park, overlooking the Rex Allen Museum that's right across the street. But for one week in January, the Arizona Cowboy takes a back seat to birds and the people who love them. Oh, this is wonderful. I love birds. I've loved birds my whole life. They're amazing, amazing animals. Isn't it the best when you see them and they strike the same pose as in the book? Wings Over Wilcox has continued through the years as a Chamber of Commerce sponsored event made possible by the hard work of dozens of volunteers. This is the end result of right here in Southern Arizona? volunteers okay. putting in their hearts and motivation and passion about birds and the community into these efforts. Then people come here and they're excited <laughs> yes. and it's just a good feeling. It's also good business. On average, the festival adds about $100,000 a year to the local economy. Over the last 20 years that we've been holding this festival, it's brought at least $2 million into this community. Our hotels, motels fill up, the restaurants have more business. The nature of the business is nature and the people who enjoy it. I'll take one. A nature expo features a variety of vendors selling everything from postcards to wildlife socks. They're very popular right now. I make them more for the birds than the people. To designer birdhouses. They're handmade and a lot of people seem to enjoy that aspect of it. Building a nest box is one activity designed especially for kids. Can I come? Are they cracks? But there's so much more to see and do. And have you seen the face? I got a fish. You got a fish? Okay, you're good to go. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. This is Chief, and we're from Liberty Wildlife, and he is a five year old bald eagle. Good yeah. job, Jimmy. Kids, big and small, can get an up close look at rescued and rehabilitated birds thanks to Liberty Wildlife and the Arizona Game and Fish Adobe Mountain Wildlife Center. Oh, this is our great horned owl. He has got an injury to his right wing, so he cannot be released to the wild. So we use him as an educational ambassador. All right, so if everyone's ready, let's, let's start headed over to the platform. We'll look for birds on the way. Seminars and field trips provide more ways to learn about birds and see them in the wild. We get a lot of sparrows in the winter here too. Volunteer Jenny McFarland of the Tucson Audubon Society leads this tour for beginning birders at Cochise Lake, not far from downtown Wilcox. Yeah, this is my third year of leading trips for Wings Over Wilcox. This was built last year as part of the festival, yeah, this, this uh, platform right here. Pretty nice. I have a fabulous time taking birders out, especially new birders. I love leading bird trips. That's very typical behavior for these birds. Here's a sparrow right here in front of us. Oh, he just oh, flew. Okay, look, if anyone noticed, oh, dang it. Those would be some sandhill cranes that are flying. That's a vermilion flycatcher. Yeah, okay, so those, those are, they're ducks, right? Yeah. And those are American widgeons. Oh, there they go, the widgeons. Look how white their stomachs are. Yeah, that's a, that's a good flying clue for them. I don't know, it's just something about birds. You can bird anywhere. You can bird everywhere. Birds are always around. And they're just, they're so beautiful and they're so varied. 
It makes them a really fun, really fun thing to look at. Look at the way they're flying. These are most likely chestnut collared long spurs. Chestnut oh, yeah. collared long spurs. Long spur. Yeah, I'll pull out my book and we'll look at them. This is a critically threatened species. Yes, they're steeply is. declining. They're very, very jittery. So this is what they look like in the breeding season. Okay, they're quite colorful. But yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful bird. I'm really glad we got to see that. Whoever spotted those, kudos. Those can be tough to see in the sky. Yeah, good job. Those can be really hard to see. All right, fantastic. All right, let's get the spotting scope and go look at the ponds. Okay, we're a little closer to these ducks now. Let's take another look at these guys. Everyone's excited to make new discoveries. Okay, someone's flying over. You hear that call? Yeah, it's white. But 13-year-old Sierra Pralgo seems especially intrigued. There they are. Those her are fascination with birds started by watching them at a feeder in her backyard. There are some birds that I can't really figure out. I saw this at the zoo. You saw a redhead at the zoo? That's well, good. Well, it was just a pond. Simply seeing birds can be a lot of fun. But those who want a more permanent record of the birds they encounter, sign up for this day-long photography tour. It's all about the cranes. We've got this group coming in, there you go. It's hosted by professional wildlife photographers Tom Wetton and George Andreco. Andreco is the photographer for Arizona Game and Fish, and Wetton leads photography tours all over the world. Oh, look at the sun coming through right now. The tour starts early in the morning when sandhill cranes are taking flight in search of food. Good, good. <laughs> oh, here they come, here they come. Man. Oh boy, look at this group. Yeah, so here they come. See, this is, there's your light. That's a beautiful shot right there. That's what we've been waiting for. I thought it was almost a little bit emotional. It was so beautiful. It's going great. This is a lot of fun. It's better than I thought it would be so far. We're just getting started. I hear a whole lot of birds. After the flybys, the cranes can often be found in harvested fields looking for leftover grain. Later, they'll return to their roosting sites. Here we got some incoming now. Catching them on the wing, of course, that's the thing. Landing gear down. Most of them roost at Whitewater Draw. It's a wildlife area managed by Game and Fish and an excellent place to bird watch. Naturally, you come down for the cranes, that's the big deal. But then continuing to look around here at Whitewater, I mean, there's all kinds of other birds. They're fun to watch. Sometimes they even let you take their picture. Sometimes I get real nice pictures and I like to blow them up, but mostly I just I enjoy being out here doing it. I'm just absolutely loving this whole experience. It's just been wonderful. For some, it's a new experience. So I think I'll wander on and see what else is, what else there is. Los Angeles resident Joseph Reuter has been on this photography tour before. There's that sparrow again. But he keeps coming back to Wings Over Wilcox, and not just for the birds. The people, the people that you meet. I just like coming and meeting these people. Uh, I also like the fact that at a festival, you're with people who know the area. They know where the birds are. They know, they know where the birds were yesterday. Whereas if you've got a paper guide, you know where the birds were last year. Get him, get him, get him. Here. The group him. makes one last stop at Cochise Stronghold in the Dragoon Mountains. He's gonna fly no, he won't. But if he does, he'll be back. And this is a wonderful birding area for anybody. It's a habitat with an abundance of wildlife and limitless photo opportunities. We're looking at acorn woodpeckers. There's two of them. You need to be ready when his head turns back into the sunlight, and that's the shot you want to try to get. Oh, there you go. In the sunlight. Oh, come on. One just flew. By the end of this five-day festival, the attendees will have come across a combined total of about 140 species of birds. Most will go home happy, recounting the birds they saw and counting the days until the next Wings Over Wilcox. Look at all of them out there, it's amazing. Oh man, 